Good afternoon, Dr. Mosibudi. So, Good afternoon. So which one is your favorite session so far? Well, I've attended two sessions, the one in the morning and the one in the uh, towards lunchtime, uh, in one uh, area only, uh, and that relates to research and development uh, mostly, um, and various countries presented in that. And so it was uh, interesting to hear how um, various countries compare in as far as the, the area of research and development and teaching is concerned at the institutions of higher learning. I think it is, it is wonderful. Um, the, 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 the value would be uh, even greater if vice chancellors um, attended uh, some of these sessions so that they can compare uh, uh, much better what's going on in this country, in their own institutions, and elsewhere in the world and in other countries. Okay, so since you've chosen the favorite um, session, was it the topic or the presenter that has influenced your decision? Well, there were various presenters. Uh, originally, I was uh, uh, attracted by, by the, the topics. Okay. Um, my greatest interest is in research and development and innovation. And so I thought that were, those were the areas that um, I would like to listen to. But these presenters were very interesting as well. And I, I listened to the um, uh, OECD um, uh, person presenting, and that it was a much more broader uh, outline than yeah, you know, one that dealt with specific universities in specific countries. Uh, the OECD is much more uh, worldwide. Um, and the issues that they are dealing with in as far as research, development and innovation is concerned and how the various countries all over the world are managing uh, this kind of enterprise. So this is your first time attending QS Asia, Sivan? Yes, absolutely. So we're going to have a, another um, second, uh, third QS Maple next year in Johannesburg. Do you, are you looking forward to attend the event as well? Is it in Johannesburg? It is going to oh, be. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah, uh, next well, year. I, I mean, I benefited a lot. I think it was very enjoyable. Okay. Um, just uh, 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 listening to the various people, um, you learn a lot. Um, and sometimes you think that the issues that you are uh, grappling with in your own country or in your system um, are unique, and yet they are not unique. Okay. And, and uh, of course, you, so you share perspectives with others and, and um, what is happening uh, in the world and what is likely to happen in the future. For example, they were talking about um, uh, teaching uh, and how a lot of students no longer turn up for lectures because they can learn from the internet much better. And they, instead of books, they, uh, they will refer, they will Google issues, information and so on. And, and what, how that presents a challenge to the traditional teaching university as we know it. And, and uh, that really does tickle your mind. And, and for those of us who grew up in a certain uh, environment and a certain paradigm, uh, it is, it is uh, uh, something that really uh, makes you sit up and think. On a personal level, are you pleased with the event? Yes, absolutely. Um, I'm glad I came. Uh, I was invited. Incidentally, I didn't know anything about uh, QS. Um, it is only after the invitation that I went to the website to start reading about what it is about. Um, and um, actually attending and being there has been a revelation to me. Okay, thank you very yeah. much, Dr. Musibi. It's my pleasure.